Kadosh Vichbad, I'll say a few words. Torah. So, we're just finishing today. Today was Kaf Hei Heshvan, and tomorrow's Kaf Vav Heshvan. So we understand that 30 days from now is Kaf Hei Kislev, which of course we know this week is Rosh Chodesh. We have Hanukkah is coming. There are two rabbinical holidays that we have. One of them is Hanukkah, which Bezrat Hashem will celebrate 30 days from now. And the other one is Purim. Purim we know. And what do these two holidays have in common? There's distinctions, there's similarities, but they have one thing in common. Bechol dor vador omdim alenu lechalotenu ve'akadosh baruch hu masilenu miyadam. That in every single generation, there's always going to be someone, some <laughs> Gentile, some group that wants to come up and try to destroy the Jewish people. Ve'akadosh baruch hu masilenu miyadam. And Hashem saves us from their hands. We saw that in Hanukkah. In Hanukkah, it was with the Greeks. We saw that in Purim. It was with the Persians. It was with the Persians. And we understand this is a concept of Amalek. We have a mitzvah taseh from the Torah. Zachor d'asheh salach Amalek baderek betzetechem mimitzrayim. Remember what Amalek did to you when you came out of Egypt. Why, out of all the things the Torah tells us to remember, this is something that we commemorate up until this today. We do Zechira, we have Parashat Zachor. Because we have to analyze why Amalek attacked us in the beginning. And then we recognize that the reason why Amalek attacked us in the beginning, any time throughout our history we see Amalek is coming to attack us, we have to recognize that this is the problem and we have to fix it. So we see Amalek comes to attack us when we came out of Egypt. And it says over here in Parashat Beshalach, Vayavo Amalek vayilachem im Yisrael b'Rifidim. Amalek came to attack the Jewish people and fought with them in Rifidim. And it says we searched high and low and we can't find a place that's called Rifidim. So if you look, what does it mean? Rafu yedehem min Torah. That the Jewish people for that period of time were not immersed in the study of the Torah, were not immersed in the study of the Torah. And what happens? Vayavo Amalek. In specifically in Parashat Zachor, we see something also. Where does Amalek attack? Amalek didn't come and fight against Moshe, didn't come and fight against Yehoshua. Amalek, what does he do? Amalek, how does he attack? He attacks the Nehashalim. He attacks the weak one. Ah, uh, what's weak? Zuck Rashi, what does Rashi say? Weak? They made Avonot. We know Amalek attacked from the back. That was Shevet Dan. What was the problem with Shevet Dan? The Anan would throw out people from Shevet Dan. Whoever was, whoever was worshiping Pesel Micha, which is very well known in Shevet Dan. These people, the Anan would throw them out, and now Amalek is able to see them and conquer them. So we see that Amalek always reaches out for the Nehishalim, for the weak ones. Weak ones, not weak ones by strength, because we know about Dan, Ubne Dan Hushim, it says. Hushim was deaf, but he was very powerful. Who killed Esav at the end? Hushim killed Esav. We know Shimshon was a Gibor. What Shevet was he from? He was from Shevet Dan. So Shevet Dan were Giborim. That's why they were put in the back. But they were strong physically, but sometimes they weren't so strong spiritually. So we see Amalek, when he comes to attack, of course he's going to go after the weak ones. Now let me ask you a question. Did Moshe Rabbeinu get up in front of everybody and say, you know what? The reason why Amalek attacked us is because of Pesah Micha. Did Yoshua come and say, the reason why Amalek attacked us because Dan are weak spiritually? No. Moshe Rabbeinu told Yoshua, Bechol Adam Anashim, pick people, and let's go fight Amalek. As it says in Shemot 17.9, Vayom in Moshe Yoshua, Bechalanu Anashim, V'tzeh Hilachem Ba'amalek. And we see the word tse is singular. Despite the fact that Yoshua was supposed to pick many people, Anashim, Tse is singular. So the way we fight Amalek is we fight Amalek together. Which means the way we fight Amalek is not with fighting each other. The way we fight Amalek is by strengthening our observance of the Torah. And whose job is that? The people who are Nehashalim, we couldn't expect Dan suddenly to people in Shevet Dan who worshiping Peshla Micha, 
We couldn't expect them to suddenly strengthen themselves and, and be able to strengthen spiritually. It's up to the people that are strong spiritually to fight against Amalek. And how do we do that? By strengthening our observance of the Torah, by doing what we need to do to help our fellow Jews that don't understand what everybody in this right now understands, what they don't get, to help them to understand and not to criticize them for the behaviors that they do. All of us have Avonot. And when Amalek causes there to be a separation in the Jewish people, this is what Haman HaRasha saw. There's one nation that's separate and distinct, which means they don't get along with each other. One Jew lands on a deserted island, he has to build two shuls, one he goes to and one he never set foot into. This brings Amalek as well. So when Amalek comes to attack the Jewish people, we have a couple things to do. Strengthen our Torah, strengthen what we're learning, strengthen our mitzvot, and to never, never allow any situation from Amalek when the Jewish people are being attacked, that we begin to attack, attack each other. All that does is invite Amalek to come again. Bezrat Hashem, may we have unity, may we have strengthening in the mitzvot and strengthening in the Torah, and all the sonim of the Jewish people, as we're starting to see now, in Shushan Habira, there's lots of hatred against the Jewish people. Even in America and even in New York City, let us strengthen ourselves in our Torah mitzvot and ma'asim tovim so the Mashiach can come and that'll be it for Amalek. And all his descendants be behabi amenu amen.